player and his friends have faced several evils here at Playtime Co. But none have posed the same threat as the menacing monster, Killy Willy. No matter what weapons they used, it was a force that could not be stopped. The best they could do was contain him. But a darkness this powerful doesn't fade with time. It grows even stronger. And that evil, the very evil that lives within Killy Willy, was just waiting to be released. Uh, since when did Mommy Long Legs look like that? Somehow she's even freakier than before. Uh, would you just quit running so I could eat you already? Wait, I've got an idea. Okay, Mommy Long Legs, wanna play? Uh, nice try, Octo Mommy. Looks like your squid legs are gonna become fried calamari. Why, you little. Better keep moving. Don't want to run into Boxy Boo or... Huh? Where'd the fire go? Isn't that, like, the entire point of the incinerator? Guess I should lock her in there, then. What the... No! It, it can't be... <laughs> Killy Willy! No! I thought you were dead! <laughs> you really thought you could defeat me? Uh, yeah. We literally burned you alive. It's going to take a lot more than a little fire to stop me. You see, I never truly died. I was just lying dormant, unable to escape the flames. For what seemed like an eternity, I planned my escape. I thought out exactly how I would take revenge on you and the others that wronged me. I became consumed by hatred. During that time, the CEO of Playtime Co. put a new initiative in place. He claimed he wanted to go green, as is the trend these days. But in reality, all he wanted to do was cut costs. The first step was to implement these scavengers. He wanted them to hunt the abandoned factory for parts. That way, instead of paying to produce all new toys, they could simply repurpose the resources and materials they already had. And for all of the rejects, it meant that they were defiled, dismembered, destroyed. The CEO had them torn apart and turned into scraps. The rejects and I were always connected in a way, and I could feel their pain. The more innocent toys were ripped apart, the angrier I became. And that anger gave me power. But I still had no way to escape until one day. The CEO was still looking for ways to cut costs any way he could. You there! Why on earth are we paying this much for gas? Uh, for heat, sir. Without it, it's freezing here in the winter. Then have it shut off at night once I leave, and tell the night shift to start wearing an extra pair of socks. Sure, no gas meant no heat, but it also meant no more fire. Nothing to hold me back. Now all I needed was for some fool to open the door, and just my luck. That fool was you. Exactly who I was looking for. Me? You and the rest of those humans are what trapped me here in the first place. And now you're back to desecrate my kind. I will eradicate the humans, starting with you. I will whip you limb from limb, just like you did to my brethren. I stopped you once, Killy Willy. We can stop you again. Oh, really? You and what army? Drop him! Stay right where you are! <sighs> I'll take care of you later. Have a nice fall. Ah! Prepare to be destroyed. Uh, uh, I didn't realize how much stuff was down here. I better get out quick. Don't want to hang around in an incinerator that could turn on at literally any time. Ha! Huh, I can just pull myself right up. Nice try, Killy Willy. I'm coming for you. Ah! Uh, uh, get away from me. Oh no! Whatever evil spirit made Killy Willy all jacked up must have woken them up too! Ah! Guys! A little help! Oh great! Looks like Killy Willy's even stronger than he used to be! No! I'd rather be smothered to death by toys than rip limb from limb! I'm not going down without a fight, Killy Willy. If you want to kill me, you better... 
Are you all right? I think I got you just in time. You really did? Wait, who are you? What are you? I'm a new creation of Playtime Co. It's nice to meet you, though I wish it was under better circumstances. How did you get here? I'm similar to those hazmat suit men who came to your rescue, or tried to come to your rescue. Playtime Co.'s goal is to create enough robots like me so that we can perform the resource acquisition ourselves. That way, we can keep real humans out of danger. Plus, robots don't have to be paid. Today is my first real mission. I'm still being workshopped, so I was running a little behind. No! No, please! No! <laughs> but I heard the others calling out from this room. Unfortunately, I was too late to help my teammates. They were already completely eviscerated. That's when I heard you screaming from the incinerator. I wasn't too late for you, at least. Well, I'm glad you're here now. I'm gonna need your help if we want to destroy Killy Willy. That big scary toy. Definitely. He killed all of my teammates. I don't want them to have died in vain. I'll do anything it takes to destroy that monster. I don't really think that's an option. We're nowhere near Killy Willy's level. Even the two of us combined would be meant to meet. Well, is there anyone here who is as strong as him? Are you sure this is a good idea? Not at all. Boxy Boo is almost as powerful as Killy Willy, and he hates humans just as much. I'm calculating our odds, and they are not good. If Boxy Boo doesn't eat us first, then Killy Willy will get us for sure. I know, right? But it's a risk we have to take. I think we got its attention. Somehow I knew it would be you, you little pest. I'll make sure you never bother me again. Run for it! You back off. That's my kill. Oh yeah? Cause it looks like I'm about to kill him. Oh no you're not. Alright tough guy, come at me. What do we do now? I'm just hoping Boxy Boo will take care of Killy Willy on his own. I don't know if he's strong enough. We need to restrain him or trap him somehow. He has the brawn. We need to use our brains. The angered souls of the rejected toys have made me too powerful. Even for a worthy opponent like you, Boxy Boo. Now, prepare to die. No, you unhand me. Ah, you think a box can contain me? We're gonna find out. You fools, this stupid box will only... <laughs> we better get out of here before Boxy Boo turns on us next. You will burn! 